coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. FAA UAS symposium dates are announced. Boeing and the Navy link piloted unmanned growlers. And Bell Autonomous Pod Transport 70 achieves first Bevelos flight. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned a weekly news program covering all things unmanned, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. The fifth annual FAA UAS Symposium will be held June 16th through the 18th at the Baltimore Convention Center in Maryland. This year's symposium will focus on four primary educational tracks, public safety, technology and innovation, international and policy. The annual FAA UAS Symposium brings together industry professionals and regulators to promote learning and growth within the UAS community. The symposium provides stakeholders with the opportunity to talk face-to-face -face with a cross-section of government and industry representatives about regulations, research, and initiatives to integrate UAS into the national airspace system. With Remote ID at the forefront of the industry, as the FAA continues to support the safe integration of drones into the NAS. Now let's take a quick look at news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for today's Unmanned Minute. UAVOS has completed tests of the new version of the main rotor blades for installation on helicopters with a takeoff mass of 110 pounds and a rotor diameter of 102 inches. Composite blades are improved by gluing into the leading edge, an all-metal edging. As a result of the modification, the aerodynamic stability of the blade has been improved and wear resistance has been increased during flights in severe weather conditions. UAV Navigation's Flight Control Solutions for remotely piloted air systems and unmanned aerial vehicles are now compatible with Trimble UAS-1, a global navigation satellite system receiver. The core benefit of Trimble's GNSS solution includes centimeter level precision and easy integration. Collins Aerospace System is entering the final stages of a nine-year project with NASA to enable UAS to operate safely in the NAS. The project, which is expected to be completed in September of this year, has facilitated the development of a command non-payload control data link waveform that informed the initial certification standards for UAS command and control in the NAS. Black Swift Technologies has introduced the Black Swift E2, designed for automated industrial and structural inspections. Instead of carrying its payload on its belly, the Black Swift E2 carries its payload up front, which allows operators to get full field of view, even when looking vertical. Its sensor packages can be swapped using a quick change payload bay. The battery pack is also easy to change, and its placement is adjustable to maintain perfect balance while accommodating a variety of payloads. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Boeing and the U.S. Navy successfully flew two autonomously controlled EA-18G growlers at Naval Air Station Patuxent River as unmanned air systems, using a third growler as a mission controller for the two others. The flights conducted during the Navy Warfare Development Command's annual fleet experiment exercises proved the effectiveness of technology allowing F-A-18 Super Hornets and EA-18G Growlers to perform combat missions with unmanned systems. Over the course of four flights, 21 demonstration missions were completed to allow Boeing and the Navy the opportunity to analyze the data collected and decide where to make investments in future technologies. This technology will allow the Navy to extend the reach of sensors while keeping manned aircraft out of harm's way, enabling a single air crew to control multiple aircraft without greatly increasing workload. It has the potential to increase survivability as well as situational awareness. The Bell Autonomous Pod Transport 70 flew its first beyond visual line of sight flight path, 10 miles at Choctaw Nation test site under the UAS Integration Pilot Program. The vehicle also completed an 18-mile flight with 60 pounds of payload at Bell's testing site near Fort Worth, Texas. 
APT70. It's part of the EV toll family of vehicles Bell is developing and can reach speeds of more than 100 miles an hour and has a baseline payload capability of 70 pounds. Bell's APT systems allow for flexible mission capabilities while keeping operations simple efficient and fast. They're capable of twice the speed and range of a conventional multi-rotor. The vehicle is designed for rapid deployment, quick reconfiguration, and nimble battery swap and recharge. To date, the APT-70 flight test program has completed over 120 flights. The program will continue to test the vehicle's endurance, range capabilities, and expand mission sets. And that wraps up this week's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to AUVSI.org and airborne-unmanned.net. I'll see you tomorrow.